So like I said in yesterday's video, today is the Killer's Shrine of Secrets perks. With Enduring and Overcharge. So, <clears throat> these two perks are actually alright. Overcharge is one I rarely use, but Enduring is one that's part of my uh, everyday hillbilly build now. Um, however, for this video I wanted to try something different. We're going with Dr. Shocky. So, what we've got here is we've got Enduring, only at level 2, so it's not as good, but Resilient to Pain, rate of recovery of stuns is increased by 60%, so I recover so much faster. And then we've got Overcharge, fueled by Hate for Progress, blah blah blah. Every time a kick a generator, when survivors go to touch it again, they will get a tremendously difficult skill check, and if they miss it, the generator regresses a further 5%, a very bad, bad thing to have. Then we've got Hex Ruin, it's only level 2 on my Doctor, but not much I can do about that. So 3 out of 4 survivors will be affected by Hex Ruin. And then just to the chases aren't so long, we've got ourselves Brutal Strength level 3. So yes, it's not completely powered up perks. But let's be honest, we can't keep doing Hillbilly forever. And for the add-ons, I'm going with the famous Iridescent King, High Stimulus Electrode, and we've got a Pudding, so I get some extra blood points to sink into Doctor. <laughs> um, hopefully, even though I'm at rank 6, it won't affect <clears throat> the survivors, like, too much. Hopefully I'll be able to come back from a lot of shit they throw at me. And this is... This is only the first game. If I get a second one in, it will more than likely be with the hillbilly so I don't use up all of my iridescent kings in one video. I've only got nine. I, I don't want to be recording all night and use them all up. That, that's kind of a bad thing. They're very hard to get. Now, I'm making a point here and now. Doctor is only good with iridescent king. He has other add-ons that are okay. And then all the rest after that are trash, honestly. Doctor is not that good of a killer, but with these add-ons, he is devastating. Just quickly go through, do I have anything else? I could throw on a Mori, but I don't want to. We're going to go for some blood points. Let's play! You know it's a bad time when you disconnect from your first really good game and... I really enjoy games with the Doctor. What? And then the very next one that you can get up and running, two survivors disconnect during the loading scripts. Just so that the net could get back up and running. Ah, oh, It was so bad. I felt sorry for them, but I had a pudding on it. Couldn't exactly. <laughs> well, <clears throat> couldn't exactly let it go to waste. <laughs> oh, what? No. That was bullshit. You know it. I know it. Anyone who saw that would know that. I don't know what you were trying to do, but let's uh, let's pretend that I didn't see anything, and you just fell over. Okay, okay, I like that. Oh. Okay. Hopefully, this game's not as bad as the last one. She's crazy. She cray cray. I can extra points off her, why not?
Do 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 At least she knows what she's doing. Not here though. Oh, come on! Stop it! And there goes Ruin, again. Except this time no gens have been done yet. So it's all good. I swore someone was here. I swore I heard someone in the bushes. I could have just been a... imagining it. Alright then. I wasn't very far. What's wrong with you? One. <laughs> what? Wait. Wait, what? Oh! She's a smart one. Lost me. Okay, I take it back. Not so smart. Let's go. And you're going to the basement, my dear. Good thing there's no decisive this game. Wham. Oh, but they're flying through generators now. That shit needs to end. Yeah, about that. Oh. Where did she go? I have no idea where she went. Found ya! But now they're just going through generators like they're nobody's business. At least the other person that just got unhooked is now dead hook. Damn, bad game. Time to die. Uh. 
Uh, I need to go check on generators. Let's go get this other person. Oh, she running. God for overcharge, or else that generator would already be popped. I will not lie. I can't let them get that generator though, which is the biggest problem. not getting it. Oh, now you're in a corner. Haha! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make sure this generator regresses. And I'm going to destroy this power so that it doesn't annoy me in the future. Should go check on the other two. They're here. <laughs> Man, Phanatophobia would be perfect. She's not going far. This is what happens when you guys rush. You're supposed to just let it. Oh. Well then. I found the hatch. Hmm. Alright, you're dead. I think that was the generator that just blew up. Yep. There is a reason I'm staying around. They now have no generators with progression on them if they mess that one up too. Alright, you're good. Where's the other person? Hello, my dear. You're not going to the hatch. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm done playing around. Let's finish this. Oh, now you're both far away from the hatch, and I get my kill. That was a nice play. Now, I swear to God, if I disconnect during this, I'm going to be very, very upset. Oh dear. You were fun. Not sure about you, though. I barely saw you. But there is a reason the Doctor is not someone you should go for the hatch for. He can just put everybody in tier 3, down them, and leave them. It's nasty, it's ugly, but if you want that 4k... Sorry, my dudes. Was a GG. That was a hard-earned victory, I'll have to say. Hard-earned. I have no... I have no pallets or generators to kick either. Oh, look at that. Merciless. Shitload of points. That double pip is spicy. That's why they were doing so well. They know how to face the Doctor. Which I give them credit for. That's good to know. Alright, we're at the end game screen, which means it's time to go over the perks. So, you probably will only see that one game, but I had a fair few. And the simple fact is, the first game I was, I lost connection to the internet, literally at the very end after I hooked the last person, so I didn't get anything from it. And the next game I played only had two people in it, so out of the three games, this was the best one. It was the most infuriating, but for survivors doing a good job, so I can't get angry at that. So, we're going to go over the perks, and we're going to discuss what I think they're good for. So, oh, Enduring. We've done Enduring enough times in these Shrine of Secrets builds to know what it's good for. It's always good to recover fast from a Pallet Star nor a Decisive Strike. Uh, it doesn't help with um, survivors just wiggling free. That just, yeah, it doesn't. I don't know why it doesn't. Because it's technically a stun. Enduring should affect. Overcharge is decent to have. If you have annoying, if you've been having a, a bad time and you are after a screw the generator build, Overcharge is one of the first few you think of for a generator build next to Hex Ruin. Fanatophobia and Dying Light also added in. Oh, it's nasty. And then obviously Hex Ruin. Duh. If you want the game to last long enough for you to at least hook one person, then Hex Ruin is where you go. Obviously, you should have a level 3, level 2 and 1, level 1 is useless, and level 2 is not bad, over half the survivors are affected by it, but it still has one survivor that can just run around and do all the generators, and the other two make themselves, and the other three, sorry, make themselves known, while they look for the totem. And then Brutal Strength, always good to have that extra speed to destroy pallets. Doctor is really only useful for certain things. He's supposed to be a tracking killer, but his tracking tool is not that great. When it comes to his add-ons, these are the best two when combined together. Honestly, other ones I've found that are pretty good aren't nowhere near as good as this. And if I had barbecue and chili, this would be a field day because it's very easy to get over 25,000 points with the Doctor. So, yeah, imagine Survivor putting barbecue chili and 25,000 points base. That's 75 for one game. I honestly can't wait for a Blood Point extravaganza or some stuff. Whatever it's called, Blood Point Weekend, Blood Hunt, whatever it's called. We haven't had one in a while. The last one was that stupid... Um, no, no, not stupid, it was actually quite ingenious. The Year of the Dog celebration. But yes, that's all for this week's Shrine. It's been fun, but I'm honestly looking forward to the update coming later this month for console as well as for officially being released on PC instead of it just being on the public test build. I have been on the public test build a lot. 
and it's interesting. I honestly can't wait for it to come. It's gonna be good. Everything's gonna be fine. It's just something we have to be patient for. There are still lots that the game could be fixed. The game could get fixed, but it's going to be a while before that happens. Otherwise, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and go check out links down below to my social medias. Subscribe, like, and follow. I'll see you guys for the next week's Shrine of Secrets.